بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay the next thing we'll try to see some configuration example with the extend issues along with the configuration we'll also see some theoretical stuff now before we go ahead with the extended acl configuration examples so the first we'll try to see the prerequisite for this now the prerequisite is we need to make sure that we do have connectivity so i'm going to use this three routers topology which are pre-configured with these networks 192.168.1.2. and 3. network and on the one interfaces i'm using 10. network and 11. networks as per my the same topology what i used in our routing scenarios or the routing labs okay so we assume the connectivity is already done and we also assume the ip addressing is also pre-configured here so i don't need to do it again on the interfaces and of course the interfaces are up and up because that is like a prerequisite for routing and the other thing is we also need to make sure that we also enable the routing so i'm using ospf here so with the help of ospf i'm going to configure all the all the routers in one single area area zero and this will ensure that the users of the LAN 1 can, can be able to communicate with the other LAN. So we do have communication between all the three different LANs. So make sure that we do have reachability. So this is the basic prerequisite. So I do have this pre-configured topology here. And if I go and verify the configurations here, I do have this basic IP configurations as well as I do have the routing configurations also. You can see I'm able to... Uh, see the our 2 network and 3. networks. It's coming in the routing table, and of course I should be able to ping to the PCs, uh, 3.1 PC on the router 3 LAN and 3.2 PCs over there. So similarly, you can also test the communication between the PCs as well if you want, just to ensure that we do have reachability. Because I just wanted to confirm that. Because after ACLs, we'll be denying a specific services. So I'm going to uh, communicate with 2.1, uh, basically 2.1 PC here. Of course, it takes some time for AR resolution. You can see I'm able to reach. So similar way here, as in the case of standard AC, extend ACLs, I'll be uh, blocking specific selected services. So we'll be using a specific services here like uh, we can we can verify the HTTP service. So for testing purpose, we'll be using ping, and we'll write an ACL statement to block the ICMP traffic for ping request, ping or trace request generally, and we'll be using ICMP protocol for that. And the next thing is uh, for HTTP traffic, like I'm I'm going to simulate this as my HTTP server. So any any server. So make sure that in your topology you're connecting this server computers. So you have this option here when you're connecting, you have this server computer option. And just to verify whether you are able to access the server services or not, you can go to this uh, simulation here. You can type in the browser. Uh, in that browser, we can type in the IP address of the any server. Like here in my case, I'm using 182.168.1.4. So just type in the IP address. If I'm getting this page, means I do have reachability to the HTTP server from here to here. But after I implement the ACL, basically that should not work. So always check before you apply the ACLs. And if I'm not able to access, let's say if I'm typing 192.168.1.5, I don't have 1.5 here. So basically I'm, I must be uh, expecting request time dot some, some, the screen will be different. You will see this. Now this is nothing but if you see this means there is a problem in reaching this server. Maybe you don't have a connectivity or maybe there is an ACL configured over there. Maybe, you know. So in our case, we'll, we assume the connectivity is fine, reachability is fine, everything is okay. And once we block the traffic with an ACL, we are expecting this output. So we can test with the ICMP. We can test with, uh, with the help of uh, HTTP traffic as well. Now, similar way, we can also simulate the FTP service. So if you want to test an FTP service, uh, basically, we can also do that. Uh, we can simulate this in the packet tracer here, where these are the users which are pre-configured with an IP address of 192.168.3.1. And we do have connectivity to this. And routing is configured between them. So you can simulate FTP server anywhere. Like I'm simulating FTP server on this PC, which is using the IP address of 192.168.1.4.
Now, if you want to do that, just make sure that on the server side, we do have this FTP service enabled. Like here, if you go to this desktop services, there is an option of FTP and make sure that it is on. And you can create one user account, user one, password, you can give anything, user one, just provide some permissions. So I hope you know some FTP options. FTP is nothing but we can, we can access the files or download the files or upload the files, depends upon the permissions. Of course, you also have all the other files here listed here. So this, this will ensure that we have enabled the FTP service on this particular host. And to test, we can go to any one of the client computer. Like in my case, I'm going to this computer here uh, where we do have a reachability routing is enabled. And I can go to the command line and under the command line, I can just go and, you know, go and try to access the FTP server. So first we had to connect to the FTP server. So the FTP server is going to be 1.4. So before I connect, I'll try to ping whether I do have reachability to the FTP server. And then we can just type in the IP address of the FTP server. So it will ask you the username we created, user username and the user password. I think I have entered the wrong username, user one and the user one. So now you can see this is what your command line. So if you're able to connect to this means you are able to access the FTP servers. Of course, I don't need to upload any file or download any files. Uh, you can you can still do that. Basically, there are some steps you can uh, follow, like dir command. So I'm not getting into all these details, okay? Because here we are not doing any kind of FTP class here. So basically, but dir command uh, is going to allow you to access all these files inside the FTP server. Now these are the FTP files what we have, and if you want to download this file, let's say. Uh, any file you can just copy that name and i think you can download it by a get option get and you know you need to type in the file name i think that's that's the way you can do it in the ftp server of course uh, in our case we are just doing one one option okay a similar way if you want to upload any file we have a put command put and then you can type in the local file name you can do it we are not getting into this but basically i'm going to test my acls here where i'll be simulating some ftp servers of course all the servers uh, by default they support http ftp service you have to enable and you have to create a username and of course icmp where we'll verify with some ping request okay so these are the three services i'll be configuring in my in my examples to verify again of course if you know other services how to simulate them because there are other services it supports if you know how to simulate other services like DNS, DSCP, you can still go ahead and do that. But again, this will be sufficient for us, okay, for testing uh, this part here. Okay, you can see the transfer is complete here in the FTP. Of course, you can use the quit command to quit that particular FTP server connection. But after I implement the ACL, basically I should not be able to connect to the FTP server if I deny that. 